it's Mark, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. We're excited to show off another great noise reduction product that's now in stock. Check this out. These are our front fender liners, which reduce road noise on the front end of the car. These are made out of a thick cotton woven polyester blend, actually has wool inside of it. And these simply snap right into the fender wells creating a sound barrier in your car. And also it's a dampening for rocks and road noise and debris that normally flies around. So let's talk about the Model 3 for a second. The front fender of the Model 3 has absolutely no sound dampening material inside the fender well. This one's all installed. It works great. It's a lot quieter. And if you've installed our front trunk or rear trunk sound dampening kits, or our wind noise reduction kits, like in our roof, these are all gonna help make the car quieter. So let's look at the back of the car. Now this kit is only for the front fenders, but some people might wanna know why. But if you look inside here, the rear fenders from Tesla are already lined. This is a soft wool polyester blend material. So the entire rear wheels are lined with this sound dampening material. So we are uh, improving it for the front because everybody sits closer to the front end of the car. And again, there's always rocks and debris and you hear a lot of ticking sounds because of the normal plastic walls. So anyway, we just wanted to give you a little introduction. You're gonna get two fender liners. You're gonna get a bag of hardware. There's no, scrilling, no, no screwing, no drilling. Everything just pops in place. We're gonna remove the Tesla grommets and use these. All right, let's go to the next step. Okay. Hey, it's Mark, RPM Tesla. We're going to show everybody today how to install the inner fender liner noise reduction kit for the Model 3. Again, this is for the front end. So let's get started. A quick overlay shows you all the push buttons that we're going to be simply removing and pushing through each of the holes on this front end. You're going to get a right side and a left side. And uh, let's get started with the installation. Okay, the installation hardware kit you're gonna get is this bag. And inside you're gonna find 36 of the plastic push-in grommets of the male side and the female side, as well as some extra screws and clips if you have any issues where you need to do any kind of threading into the plastic liner. Uh, again, these are just in case just simply inserting it in, and when you insert it all the way down, it spreads out and it locks it in place. So again, you won't need to remove these, but if you ever need to, you can unthread them with a screwdriver. But uh, this is the best locking system we were able to find uh, based on the thickness of the three layers. So remember, the woven polyester liner is closest to the head, then you have the plastic, and then you have the metal part of the fender. So this has to be long enough to go through all three uh, layers. Okay, to install everything, you're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to pop out the grommets, and you also might need some kind of pick for the ones that are way up inside. And also a 10 millimeter, because we are going to remove a 10 millimeter bolt underneath, and it'll help hold it down. It's an area where we're not using a grommet. So again, we're going to use about 15 grommets in here and underneath one grommet and one bolt. So let's start off. This should be a kind of step by step what you'll go through. Um, it's a pretty good idea to clean everything out in here. Uh, we wanted to show a close up. This is the only sound dampening or fabric related to sound and road noise muffling that the Model 3 has. Fenders are all plastic except for a couple of little areas, and this is a performance model. But this fabric sound dampening woven wool piece is gonna really make a difference and help. Uh, so let's start with putting it in. So just reach around the uh, rotor and insert it up high. We're gonna start with the back ones. So right back here, we've got one that has like an extended lobe on it. And uh, we're gonna do replace that one. That'll hold it in place. And then we'll probably do one up top. So that way 
it's not drooping all over us. So let's take uh, all the grommets out and then it'll be a lot easier to line them up and put the shield in. Okay, so take your flathead screwdriver and cover it in tape just so you don't scratch anything. And uh, just feed it in right here underneath the push button grommet. All you gotta do is pop one side out and they come out this easy. So we're probably gonna fast forward this and we'll stop when we get to the pick related one and the bolt. Okay, so now, foam to come down here. We've taken out about uh, nine, one, two, three, four, five, about 10. And now we're gonna do these two, that'll be 11 and 12. And then underneath 13 and 14 will be the bolt. So here's where you need to use the pick to get way inside, get it underneath, just like normal. Hook it, pull down. This will release the fender liner, basically. So there's another one. So now this liner is loose, ready to come out. After we take this one off. So you can see we're basically removing the entire liner, but we're not. I'm actually gonna put one of them back in to hold it in place, because we need to be able to keep it suspended up there while we reinsert the longer grommets. Um, now the other side in the recessed tube. Gotta get way in here. easy in one piece so this side's all loose that means we haven't missed any now the bottom ones we're gonna take off last so the only thing holding this up right now is one here and two underneath and you can verify that just by grabbing it so this one here and again it doesn't really make a difference we're gonna insert our piece now okay so let's start off and we're probably best off to put in the large ones, the uh, protruding cones, we'll call it. So this is the back side. So we're gonna put these first two in first. That will secure it up underneath, okay. And then we'll take the bottom one out that we already removed. All right, so now you're gonna need a light and you're gonna need to make sure every time you do this that you're lining up. We're positioning everything all at once. But once you have all three like that, pop one of the long ones in. You see how it's going through three layers. It's going through our sound dampening layer, the plastic layer, and then the metal fender. And that locks it in. So we have one in. Okay, before we put in the recessed cone, it's a good idea to position this in here and that'll help boost up the whole thing. So we're just pre-lining up these lower grommets as well. So we've got these two here and now this one's lining up better. So you see, I need to just tug it a little bit. Once you tug it towards the fender, put it in, put the Phillips screw head plastic in and shove it in. 
and it's locked. Great. Okay, so get a real low angle and we can show what we're looking up at here. Probably want to do it like this where you're laying on your back. And again, we want to position the top and then we're going to work our way down. So now we're on that side. So just shoot that one. All right? See it? ground you can't see if it's lined up can you see if it's lined up okay hold that in okay so we've got one two three all these are all the highest ones and you can see how the line is gonna fit underneath here and then we'll just keep working our way down sides and it'll fit a lot easier and go a lot quicker so we're going to come over here now over the caliper and again this one actually looks like a dead spot in the firewall so this one won't be used but let's go behind the back here the back side and here we've got the plastic liner that's a little bit out of the way so I'm gonna push it up with this side line it up with this side and we'll pop all three of these together one there's two and now I'm just reaching for the hole so when I'm over the hole I can't tell if I'm over the hole so there we go So that one's locked in and now we're going to do this one so then we have two of these peninsulas sticking out and a plastic screw so once you're on there and it's flush Watch how easy these work. That's it, locked in place. Okay, we got another one and a whole bunch on the front. So there's about five on the front fender and only about four or five or three on the back. So we'll switch. And we'll keep going. So it seems logical that we've got the top secure and we wanna go this way. So I'm going over here next. See how we can nudge it all over and line it up and pop it in. It's in the hole, great. Next one. And if you can't see it, the screwdriver is a good aid. Got a few more to go. 
So I'm going to remove the bottom one that I was talking about leaving in. Just get right behind the tab. If you haven't pushed it in too far, pop it off, push the grommet out. And I'm going to work my way from here up as I don't see the materials being pulled or So it's really going to make a difference. We're going to do some sound tests. And we'll go on the same road in one performance versus this one. If it won't go in straight, it means that it's not lined up all the way. So just kind of force it over. The flex is all you need. in maybe tap it and then one more all right so one two three four five six got one more here and then we're gonna be crawling under the car to do the last two after we do two more in the rear so it up, press it in. It's great. Okay, and we'll do the last ones and then we're gonna crawl under. So, remember, this one here doesn't take a grommet. and this is a divider between the front fender and the rocker panel. So this is the same on both sides, um, a little division area at the bottom. So just ignore that. Now, if, depending on how old your car is, you're gonna get rocks and find all kinds of crazy things inside of here. Um, pebbles, everything gets inside of this area. So don't be afraid to pull it away, clean it out, flush it out, pop fabric back in and even in here there seems to get a lot of crumbs and dirt and pebbles so with the pick would probably be really good here let's get all the gravel out it accumulates and now we can pop the side in, push it all the way down. This is what I was trying to get to. I want to be able to push this all the way down inside so everything lines up nice and it's nice and secured. Then we'll put these in. And you might want to tap it sometimes if it needs help expanding. In this case, I think it's the loose debris of the back side of the fender. I need to clean it out a little bit better. Lots of dirt. The rocker panel here just seems to gather all kinds of stuff. Wow, it's crazy. Okay, and then you can see all the way in and you can lift the rocker up and down to adjust. So again, put this back in. Secure this after. Push it all the way through. And now this is going to make it expand. 
and lock in place. If it doesn't, you need to get more debris out of there. I like to push this down. You can see the paint protection film on the edge here. I need a little trim. And now, the last one before we go underneath. So these are really nice and deep. Just get it in a hole. All right, now we're ready to do the last ones. You'll notice you have three holes left in the pattern. We're gonna use two out of the three. So we're gonna crawl underneath now. Move our light. So again, with the flat head, we're simply going to be folding this back a little bit. And we're going to take out this one here. And these come out so easy, normally. Just pull that sucker out. This is going to go right in that hole and go right up inside. We don't want to do that until we look at the 10 millimeter. So here's a 10 millimeter bolt. And this has a nice washer on it. So this metal washer is really going to help hold this in, uh, in place. Just like that. So let's take the socket and uh, crack this loose. So this one, we're not gonna use a push grommet. And then we're just gonna line it up. threads and tighten it up be able to make it nice and secure here because the metal washer is really going to pinch the uh, cotton wool material it gets really snug and that's good and now the last one Oops, got my arm in it <laughs> and this will do it so again with the screwdriver always make sure all the layers are lined up perfect. I'm going through this one and this one. Push it up and in and lock it. That's it. Awesome. Okay. So everything is in place. Let's do a final count. We've got one, two, three, and four. Three grommets with one bolt. Then we're going five, six. So that's the back half of the fender. Then seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 17 total. But what a difference this is gonna make. It fits perfect. It's not interfering with anything. It's not overlapping brake lines. Uh, there's no warranty issues. We're just putting a nice sound dampening blanket inside of your wheel well. And everything holds in place, like you can see here, all the way around, no issues. So we're going to put the uh, wheel back on. Now that you've installed our Model 3 Fender sound dampening kit, look at the back of the Model 3. It already has one. All Model 3s are built with standard sound dampening it encases the entire inside of the fender it's the same thing you just installed in the front it even is missing a grommet here where it's supposed to have one i'll probably add one to that but again this is how tesla sends the cars out so they don't necessarily have a fender liner inside in plastic but they do have the sound dampening kit in the rear 
So this is why we're not gonna be selling one. Thanks again. And uh, yeah, we're missing a couple of these. I'm gonna put some of the extra grommets in so it looks like this. Thank you, RPM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories. You start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, and if you find any missing, use the original ones, why not? Just move it over a little bit, line up the holes, pop it in. I found three missing in my rear already. So I was missing one here and one here. Now I see I'm missing one down there on the inside. So again, all this helps the uh, little pebbles and the rocks that fly up from these uh, soft tires. I better clean this one out. Okay, that's good.